Any idea why Roshi? No. Some time alone to get today. Okay. I'm not gonna chase her. You do know I wouldn't testify to any of that in court. And through my fingers. It's not your fault. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm super, uber, mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because let me tell you, if you haven't watched this series, what are you waiting on and you are 100 trillion percent missing out on it. But before we get into further details and actually discuss it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments because like I always say, your opinion does matter. So basically the show is very interesting and yes, there is a lesbian situation that actually developed between Fia and Donna. So let's get right into further details and actually discuss everything that happened. So basically the series is called The Black Shore. It's a series that follows a girl boss detective who that actually returns to her hometown only to find herself in the middle of a, a mystery that only brings up her own hunting traumas from her past. Fia is sent to her hometown as a punishment for violating intervening in an investigation that she had no business with. It's been 20 years since her father got eliminated and her father also, you know, was accused of eliminating her mother and her sister as well. So all the family have already accepted that he was the one to blame for the crimes, but there is something about Fia that still believes that some way, somehow her father is innocent. Donna is a single mother that lives, you know, with her father and she works at the reception where the crimes actually happened. So she actually starts to get close with Fia because they start to work on the case together because Donna was the person who was in charge of the reception and she works at the hotel. So she had all the info on everybody who was coming in and coming out. And also Donna was very open to help in the investigation because she really just wanted peace in the city as well. Before we get into further details and discuss the quick feeling that happened between those two ladies i just want to say i'm not gonna break down everything that happened in the series because i feel like there's something if you guys are interested in, i will recommend you also watch my main focus will also be concentrated on the situation that happened between fia and donna so basically fia while she was investigating the case of course donna started to help her out a lot you know just for her to get the evidence she was the one who knew the city and the people very well so fia was kind of you know relying on her to help her out with the small details that she needed in order to to, you know to figure out the cases better and of course through that situation that they co-working situation partnership that they had it you know in a working matter you know they started to spend time together fia would ask donna out you know for a drink for them just to talk about the cases and all of that and that of course made them grow like closer closer to one another to a point where they started to you know speak about their personal things so basically fia is divorced you know donna she's a single mother who didn't have a very, you know, uh, best relationship with, you know, the other parent of her daughter. She has a complicated relationship with her father. And on the other hand, we have Fia, who also doesn't have a good relationship with people. She's a very loner. You know, she also was, you know, basically, she actually grew up with the man who actually ended up helping on with the elimination of her father so there's just a lot of trauma that also comes with fear but she didn't know that she just found that out at the very end of the series so one day you know they were going through it and fear and donna they were just speaking and talking and basically the two you know had this good moment together and ended up you know having like a one night stand so after that you can see that okay now from here on it's going to be something a little bit more romantic but for me personally i feel like fear just wasn't in the mental state so even think about you know dealing with someone romantically but donna really like felt attracted to you know to fear after that one night stand and you know later on of course donna was still trying to pursue fear and to see where she's at you know so one day they met you know after they hooked up they didn't see each other again you know so when they basically remet again at the bar you know the fear was she's giving donna like the cold shoulder avoiding her she didn't even say hi to her she looked at her at a very weird way like very sarcastic wise and of course fear you know how can we say quote unquote sister that was with her told her like hey you can just treat people like that whenever you know this they get too close you always do this you always push people away that's not okay you you need to do better and of course fia was in denial that she was you know mistreating donna and of course donna is a grown woman she's not gonna let people just overwalk her and do whatever they want with her you know so donna was like okay that's how you feel that's how you feel you gotta not, not not even say hi to me after we you know we slept together and all of that you're just gonna treat me like i'm nothing so you know gone donna was kind of very mature about the situation and just basically told her you know uh, not like verbally but mentally like you know i'm just gonna let it be 
So after FIA finally could solve the cases, you know, even though it wasn't at the very end, but it was mid midway solving everything, you know, she finally uh, re-encountered again with Donna. And this time, you know, it was actually at an event where they were celebrating, you know, the success of the cases. And basically, FIA went up to Donna and asked her, hey, how are you? You know, our... and of course, Donna basically told her, hey, congratulations on the cases. You did very good. Like, keeping it very, like, polite, you know, and cordial. And of course, Fia was like, you know, I know basically I know that we can, uh, whether we can celebrate. And Donna was like, no, I'm not your price. You know, I'm not the one that you're going to ignore my street and just do whatever you want and come and go as you please, you know, go and get yourself together and leave me alone, you know. And of course, that moment Fia realized that she has a lot to work on herself if she's ever going to be with someone romantically because Donna is a grown woman, you know, she's not a kid. She's not someone that you can just do as you want and and. And as you please, you know, she comes with things. She has a daughter. She has a responsibility. She's grown, you know. You're not just going to play with her the way you want. But, of course, Fia, she had that on her mind for a little bit. But later on, she overcame it because she had another situation to solve when it comes to the man who actually raised her, who ended up actually being, like, the person to blame for all the crimes and she was very heartbroken when she found out everything had actually happened so she really really was going through it and the fact that she and donna she couldn't they couldn't pursue a relationship i get it you know it was just very it's just a very complicated you know situation and fear just needed you know she needed answers of everything that happened with her with her sister with her mother with her father you know with her family and also with the girls that were disappearing in the city so they just a lot that she they, that she was you know responsible for and when donna came in the picture for her it was like a breath of fresh air but she also knew at the same time that she wasn't able gonna to be the person that you know donna want her to be because at the beginning it was just supposed to be like a one-night stand you know it was just something that happened between them so people they felt attracted to one another and they felt and they were had a one-night stand but later on things didn't actually go that way you know donna started to have feelings donna isn't it's not actually that she had feelings she just she just didn't like how fear handled the situation the situation after they you know they had their one night stand you know she could have been a little bit more respectful and not basically treat donna like you know she's nothing you know so yes guys for further details the show is actually from ireland and you can watch it on prime video and also to rent on amazon uk it has six episodes available and yes the series is actually from guess where ireland and yes it's in english so you don't have to worry if you speak english and if you don't speak english on prime video there are subtitles available so that's something you don't have to worry about at all me personally i would highly rate this series a strong 8 out of a 10 because for me it goes beyond than just you know the lesbian relationship situationship that happens but also the topic and just the ending of the series is super super intense and super good you know it's something that i'm really hoping there will be a season two because this series is really 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 amazing so yes guys that's basically it please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i also want to say that i activated the super stickers to the channel just in case any of you would like to make a small donation they will also help us out a lot thank you for all the love and all the support until the next video and goodbye